if you look at Dallas and you follow maybe like about 25 miles down south and you're into Waxahachie. I mean, my understanding is there's going to be over 100,000 that are going to be right in town here looking at this eclipse. You know, it's pretty neat. I mean, and we get busy here anyway on the weekends. It's just that this weekend is just a lot, lot busier than what it was. But they even told us to maybe be prepared to sleep in our store if we needed to. Um, so on Monday, just I'm thinking just because of traffic. I'm very excited. I think we're all really excited just to be in the line of totality. Um, it's a very slim line, so we're really lucky to be right in the middle of it, basically. What the heck, you're not, I'm not gonna, the next one is what, 20 years from now? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see a, a total solar eclipse in the United States in 20 years. So, I figure this is the time. The weather is unpredictable here in Texas. As you can clearly see, we do have some clouds in the sky. We're predicting to have that um, for Monday, but we're crossing our fingers and hoping to have some clear skies coming on Monday for the total eclipse. Yeah, we've heard it's supposed to be cloudy, um, unclear exactly how many clouds there will be or what, if there'll be high clouds or low clouds. I've heard that high clouds are not as bad as low clouds. So I, I would say I'm definitely nervous, but I'm trying to just think of it as I've never been to Texas, tried to enjoy the weekend as a whole uh, and, and keep a, a positive spirit because I, I would say I'm generally a little nervous about the weather. Welcome to Texas. Where are you from? Well, I'm from Atlanta, but I live in look at the entire state of Texas, we're the best part. Okay. When you look along the entire path of totality, your best part is Maine. Okay. That's a little far away. That's a long walk for even a Texan, I'm just saying. <laughs> Months of the year, uh, because I can actually rotate this. Wow. Then that doesn't move. It's sounding like here in Dallas, kind of early morning, we are gonna get a very thin layer of high level clouds come in, uh, but they're thin cirrus clouds, so they're transparent. You can see through them a little bit. Um, they've been describing it like a veil. So you can see through it, but is it an ideal condition? No, but you're also not clouded out. In Texas, we're the first major area that's gonna be able to see something. Again, it won't be ideal, but we'll get to see it. So, <laughs> it's a little compromise, you know. <laughs> I'm a sun man. I was invited by the city of Mesquite to kind of um, give an interpretation of what we can expect during the um, solar eclipse that's coming up. Um, they wanted me to kind of, you know, use my own ideas and in, in, in depicting the, the phases of totality.
So like, it was really cool, like being able to look this up and, and be a part of something special like this, especially since I've always been interested in my whole life. And it was pretty cool, like learning more, you know. I We have a background that's going to stay after the eclipse, but we also have then seven panels, metal panels, that are going to be painted. The first six will illustrate the six phases of totality. The seventh will QR code to a page on our downtownmesquitetx.com website where you can learn more about the science of the eclipse. We have been getting uh, inquiries from South America, from Europe, all over the United States. I mean, these eclipse chasers are serious folks. <laughs> and again, we have quite a bit of totality. We're right at the intersection of so many interstates and major transit arteries that a lot of people are looking at us to come. is designed to be easy to move. Oh, they do, they've got a 